Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you around some free camping areas just outside of Creston, BC, Canada, uh, just a little north of Kitchener, BC, Canada. Here we go. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, a few little camping areas. These are free camping areas on, uh, as far as I know, it's this crown land. It's been logged, so there was uh, logging leases at one point. The roads in and out are logging roads, so um, depending on the year, they may or may not be active. Apparently the last couple years have not been active, but before that they were. Um, so be aware that if it is a active logging year, you might encounter some large trucks barreling down the road. That said, where are we? Well, we're just a little east of Creston, BC. There's a little village called Kitchener. And off of the number three highway is a road called Leadville Road or Leadville Road. And um, that heads north. Now, if you follow that, it's a bit of a residential, you know, like there's a couple small hobby farms and that kind of thing. Uh, you follow the road through there over the bridge um, and start going up the hill. It turns into gravel. Then it turns into pretty rough gravel. Uh, again, probably depends on the year. If they're logging, they might uh, actually come up and grade it. I'm not 100% sure. But then, uh, yeah, you just take it slow and you'll see the kilometer signs, the mile markers. And basically you'll see one, two, three. By the time you get to three, you're going almost to four. And when you get to about three and three quarters, on the left, you'll see an open area. If it's summertime, you will probably see RVs in it. I got here late April and there was one other fellow here. My friend Joan came up in May and then it just started to kind of progressively get a little bit more busy and a little bit more frequent, like people come in for a night or two, that kind of thing. But what surprised me is literally you go that extra third of a kilometer and Depending what time of year, like if you're here in early spring and it's been raining a lot, it's going to be muddy to get in. But if it hasn't been and you see the ruts or whatever, and you figure you might be able to navigate around the ruts, go in there. It's worth it. I've walked the dog through there so many times and I just like, oh, if I come back here, this is where I'm camping. I'm going to camp back here. And the funny thing is, is for some reason, long weekends, there's like 17 units in the area I am in, two in this big open area that's just literally half a kilometer further. So I'm going to show you around that. Um, I've heard that there's other areas up the hill, so I'm going to show you around those and see what we find, go a little exploring, and then um, yeah, we'll do a little summary at the end. Here we go.
So at kilometer marker four, seen by these yellow signs, if you look right across the road, there's an entrance. Now, when I first got here, this entrance was just a little puddle, but as the melt and spring happened, he got pretty saucy in here. Obviously right now, four by four, you can get through. It's a little ruddy, but after this, it could be worth it depending on your camping desires. And there's also another entrance to this area, which I will show you in a bit. So when I first got here at the end of April, this area was not as green as this, but it also showed you that there's a lot of flat ground here. You can see there's a uh, makeshift fire pit. There was a tent set up here for like months. Pretty sure somebody had left it. And then over the long weekend, somebody moved it down the trail a bit. And a month later it was gone. Somebody taken it. But this area here is very nice. But yeah, this little section in here is really, really pretty. And if you can hear it in the background, I'm not sure you can with the mic I have, but you're very close to the river. So there's a site here. It's got its own little path. So yeah. If I was in a van or doing some tent camping, what the hell, I sure wouldn't be parked back where I am. So then you can follow this round. Obviously you're right by the river again. So, Another open area, makes you a fire put there. This is the road I just walked up on. And then you have this nice little beach. Now people have left some chairs here. There's kind of a little memorial here to this guy, Shane. So I think people might come out here to hang out. How's the water today, Rollins? Tasty and cool? Yeah? He prefers the river water. My friend Joan said that she met a guy who uh, actually does testing for BC's water in this area. It's like the district guy or whatever. And he says this is uh, some of the cleanest water you're gonna get. BC is known for having clean water for the most part. And the Goat River is uh, supposed to be pretty good. Another nice area. This one actually looks small, but it opens up uh, to a larger area here. So basically your road is out here. So basically your road's out here. You have one in the back over here. Then you have this one, 
that's the beach access there. You could pull in here by this one. This one over here is uh, in by the trees close to the river. And then this whole flat area out here. And this goes back quite a ways back into even more private secluded areas. I'm actually considering if I come up next year, I might just come and basically pull in right around here. Leave the real nice spots for other people that come up on the weekends. But maybe find a, a nice little spot in here. It's the wild. You're not gonna find perfectly level spots, but you could definitely make a level spot on here. It's pretty level. And this also goes way back even further. Maybe there's a little fire pit there. But there's lots of room. And I'll also note that this is a July long weekend. So where I am at, there's like eight RVs. It hasn't been quiet. Somebody brought their year and a half old dog who won't shut up. And uh, basically has no control over it. So considering that it's the long weekend and just because this one is a little bit harder to get to, it's dead. So keep that in mind. This whole area I just showed you is basically called four, because it's at marker four. We're at about three and a half, where we are. And um, like I said, it goes way back here. So undergrowth aside, if you're in a van or an RV with a little bit of clearance, you're gonna be fine getting down here. You're gonna be fine going back here. Just be warned that if you go down this road, I don't believe there's a whole lot of turnaround space for anything big. And at a certain point, somebody has dropped off a load of garbage a few years back. There's like an old refrigerator and some junk. So that's not cool, but My friend Joan, I helped her with a couple things, but my friend Joan cleaned up a pile from where we were at. A couple bed springs and a little barbecue. Uh, and then through, the, through that in the back of her truck, she took it to the dump. And it was a whopping $7.50. So that's how pathetic some people are, that they'll come out here, dump a load of garbage that literally would cost them under $10 to take to the dump. But you know, it's a hassle. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. People that dump garbage in places like this. I don't know. There's something wrong with their head. So yeah. This has been logged years ago. You do access it from a logging road. Although it hasn't been active for two or three years. I think uh, Joan was saying the first year she came up here, which would have been 2021, I think, uh, they did have logging trucks going up and down. So be aware of that. Uh, share the road, definitely. But uh, this year and last year, I don't think there's been any trucks at all. I haven't seen any. So this trail goes back quite a ways. There's not a lot on the sides of it as far as open spaces. But I believe at the end there's a, a little bit of space. So yeah, back here, it's ultra quiet. It opens up a little bit. You're not real close to the water, but you can hear it. And uh, I do believe some ATVers come in here. So I'm not going to go much further, but this path keeps going. Again, opens up a little more. 
Now this isn't all that level, but if you're in a van or a tent or something, you can make it work. The downside of this little spot is the aforementioned garbage right there. So yeah, not so much fun. We'll follow around a little bit longer. See where he's taking us. The road's actually not that bad. If you had decent clearance on your trailer or your truck camper, truck campers are gonna be fine. But you have decent clearance. And like I said, depending on the year, like this, all this undergrowth, all these little these little sprigs, they weren't here. So basically you could see how flat it was. But this goes way back. In BC, you're not gonna get much quieter than this. You can just see the river through the trees there, over here. So yeah, you're, I don't know, about 30 steps from the river through the forest. But yeah, you get back here, I can pretty much guarantee, unless someone's already here, you're gonna have this spot to yourself. So yeah, it's funny how so many people come down the road get to three where we are pull in there and just stay there and I'm like if you only knew what was like literally less than a kilometer away but they stay there so right now we're facing down the hill so that sign that I showed you the number four would be down the hill so from there you kind of come up the hill come around a little bit and I mean not far like probably less than a kilometer, two thirds of a kilometer maybe. And basically you're coming here to this entrance way. There's like two trees. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not for big rigs. Big rigs are gonna basically wanna stop on the road, check to see how that puddle is. If it's rough, if it's real wet and saucy. But this is your back entrance down to area four. So as you can see, it's not very wide. And it gets a little steep. But taken slowly, this could be fine. Now, do note, there's two stages. So that was stage one. And that opens up to this nice little area here too. I mean, right in front of me. This, this spot's like perfectly level. Somebody could totally camp here. Enjoy the quiet. You barely hear the road. Truck just went by. And... Be honest as far as roughness goes this part of the road is going to be probably your roughest just because of these rocks in the in the dirt but again if you're patient not in a hurry just slowly meander along here with your rig i mean would i bring my rig up here 100 percent. i could totally do this granted you want to make sure you got decent brakes on your truck because, like I said, these little little bits are steep. Yes, you're going to get some branches dragging on the side of your rig and your mirrors and your trailer. It all depends on how bad you want it, I guess. Like I said, that piece back there with the rock sticking out of the mud, that's probably your roughest spot, aside from the hills. But then you just go kind of through this log meadow, this little plateau here. And we'll show you where you come out. So this, my friends, is your way down. About center of the frame behind those trees is your open area that I was pointing out. Your beach little, your little beach area. A 
along here is the road we went back on, back into the back part where unfortunately there's a pile of garbage. But yeah, this here is a road down. The biggest problem right there is that rock. So if you can slowly navigate that rock, the rest of it's easy. You shouldn't be going very fast anyways because of the slope. So like I said, vans, smaller rigs, rigs with a little bit of clearance, and obviously people that don't mind branches brushing against the sides of their trailers. Have I seen trailers down here? Yes, I have. I've seen like probably a 24 foot trailer parked right over here. There's been a couple truck campers down here. Uh, I think the long weekend had two people here, both in trailers. Uh, the May long weekend that is. This is the July long weekend and there's nobody here. So we're right back to this big open area. There's the spot over there where I'm thinking I'm possibly coming down to be next year if I come here. And again, there's your road up. So like I said, there's two steps. They're about that long each with a bumpy, slow bumpy ride through the middle, partially. Second half of that road's barely got a dip in it. It's much like this here. And then, uh, yeah, you're down into four. You can have river access if you want. You can sit right on the river. So yeah, there's areas all the way up this road. Like I said, we're at three, this is four. I know there's another one. Somebody said something about six maybe and 11 and 11 may be the official recreation area. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll go explore in a bit and I'll uh, see what we find. So I've come up to what is referred to as 11, because it's kilometer marker 11. I heard there's something up here. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot at 11 here. Um, I did stop at six on the way up. So that will, you've probably already seen that. <clears throat> but here I am um, at 11 and just down the road, there's a bridge. And just before the bridge, there's like a, a little lane that goes in. And it looks like there's like a spot for like one person, maybe a van kind of thing but it's like basically overlooking the river and you're right there by the river and it's uh, kind of pretty, but it's not for, not for a big rig, not for a big RV. Um, I'm not even sure if I'd get in there. I didn't really check the, there was somebody in there. So I didn't really check the overhead branches and that kind of thing. I didn't uh, look around too much, but that said, there's just down the road. Um, I pulled up a little bit on a logging road here. So I'm going to put the drone up, take a look around. We'll show you that and and we'll head back down the hill because I know that the official Goat River Recreation Area is up further, but I think it's like 22 kilometers up. So basically we're halfway. 
um, and then you take a bridge over and then you come back down into this bigger open area up there. Um, I have seen some larger rigs come up here that I have not seen parked anywhere. So they could be up there. That might be where they're going. A lot of these spots you're probably gonna to wanna to plan for in the regards of, okay, like you, you have empty holding tanks, you have full fresh water tank, you're all stocked up. You come up here, you know, do your week or your two weeks or whatever, hang out and you know, just kind of chill out and enjoy the nature. Uh, Cause you're not gonna to wanna to go back and forth on this road. Um, it's towing a rig, it's gonna be a slow grind, but it's definitely doable. It's just potholes, gravel road potholes. So, you know, you just navigate through there, take it easy and you're fine. Um, but yeah, some of these spots up here, I think would be worth it. So let's take a look around, okay. So, as you might have seen in that little bit of drone footage, there seems to be a campground just before the bridge. So we basically came across the bridge and then I came up here. But it looks like there might be a road that goes back that actually might be the recreation area. It looks pretty big. I thought it was further up, but I could be wrong, as I often am. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll go see if that uh, road leads anywhere and uh, maybe we'll go check out that recreation area. Uh, aside from that, that might be 11. Uh, maybe that's what people refer to when they're talking about 11. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, we'll go down there. And if I can find a road, I will go down the road. And in case you haven't noticed, it's uh, semi-cloudy today. So the sun is in and out behind clouds and I'm adjusting for exposure on a regular basis. So uh, pardon the uh, changes in light, but yeah, let's go see what we find. So, as you saw through the dirty windshield dash cam, I'm totally wrong. <laughs> like I said, get used to it. Um, this is the Goat River Canyon recreational area. There was a sign, a little sign posted on the post coming in. It said, uh, you know, limit your stay to 14 days. Um, there's one other, there's one camper here. They've got this whole spot to themselves. I found this spot down further. Nobody here. And check this out. So you see the truck, it's right there.
There's the river. Now it's a little steep, granted, but you could get down there, lounge in the water. Actually, I think over here the path is a little better. Oh yeah, that's a little more manageable. But yeah, considering there's currently one, two, three, four, five, and me crammed into that little area where we're at, and this area, 11 kilometers in, so that would be basically seven kilometers more than where I'm at, one camper. And, in case you're wondering, there's pit toilets here. Those little green buildings you might have seen in the dash cam video. Pit toilets. You know, and it's not a huge area, but there's one, two, three, three sites down this end, four with the other person there. And there's probably a couple more I don't see. You definitely, Put a tent in there, that's a nice little area. Tent in here. I mean, granted, you don't get a fire pit or whatever, but you know, pit toilets, nice little area. So, yeah, that's the Goat River Canyon recreational area. 14 days. If it's like this, you can probably get away with a few more. If there's a lot of traffic coming in and out, then limit it to 14 days. Beautiful. I mean, sun's not shining now, we're getting cloud. Possible thunderstorms. I should be getting back because Rons will be freaking out. I didn't bring him because it's actually hot. It's like almost 30 degrees out Celsius. So, I mean, he could have technically maybe ran around a little bit, but I didn't know how many other campers would be in these spots and I didn't want to leave him in the truck, so he's back at the trailer. He's fine. The trailer's not too hot. He's actually underneath in the shade. But yeah, if you're ever in the area and you want to check it out, here you go. So friends, there you have it. How many spots did we find today? We got the basically three and a half where I'm at. We got four, which is almost half a kilometer long. Uh, there's all that area in behind there. Uh, muddy to get in, or you can take the two step steep drive in. Um, bigger rigs, not gonna be able to handle it. Smaller rigs, um, I, could be, I could get down that hill easy. 26 foot fifth wheel on the truck. Just take it slow, keep the brakes on. You could totally go get down that hill easy. Granted, if it's shiny and brand new, you might not want any brush rubbing against it on the way down. Um, so that's your call. And then from there, we came up and we found six. Uh, nice little area in there. Again, these ones so far, like three, four, and six, are basically, um, they're just kind of open areas. They're not, there's no services, there's no picnic tables, there's no amenities, there's nothing. So it's just basically, you know, pull up, find a spot, camp on Crown Land, and you're good. Like I said, three is popular because it's the first one, and I think that's where your cell signal runs out. And then, so we found six. Then there was that little spot by the bridge, uh, pretty much before we came into here. And then this is the full-on Goat River Canyon recreational area. Again, nobody here. One person. One person. It's the weekend after, it's Friday after the long weekend in July. So anyways, uh, 
there is a couple roads that I saw and I will check out on the way back. All right, uh, it's hot, I'm sweating. I need to shave this off because it's, it's bugging me and it's definitely bug season. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all soon and um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye. One person here. Free firewood starter kit. I don't know what you people are waiting for. I don't. So I was coming back and I noticed that the people that were here in this little spot just on the side of the bridge here are no longer here. I thought I'd take a look, see what this is all about. And plus, there's kind of, uh, by the looks of things, a uh, semi-permanent fixture. Somebody came up for lunch and left their junk. Not cool. I'll show you the view from the bridge in a second. It's similar to this. A little bit of thunder in the background. That looks like a great place to swim though. And like I said, we're at three and a half. This is at 11. The marker for 11 is just right before you get here. So, aside from the garbage, this is kind of a neat spot. That looks like an amazing swimming hole. Beautiful. And as promised, views from the bridge. So, you just saw me pull in here. I'm gonna call this little spot the bonus spot. So this was basically, we were coming back, so we just passed the marker nine. So this is probably about 8.5, 8.7-ish coming up. And yeah, it's basically just one little road in until you get to the end. And the end. Is right here. So not a spot for big RVs. Uh, unless you're really good at backing it up. But if you're in a van, tenting, small trailer, like uh, my little trailer and my Xterra, totally would have came in here. Yeah, if I knew about this, it would have totally came in here. Check this out, like, you're off the road, you're down here and you're, oh, okay, I'm sold. You have a beach, you have 
a freaking beach. What the hell? Why is there nobody here? Seriously. I mean, granted, there's still some rocks in the river, but hello? Yeah. Right now I'm thinking about all those people in vans that came and stopped for like one or two nights or three nights or the weekend, sitting in their van amongst a bunch of us crazy RVers. Other people with generators and that kind of BS. But nope, they could have been here. Hell, I'm gonna check the clearance on the trees on the way out. I might be here next year. This is amazing. Hey. Right now, I want everybody to take a deep breath and just take this in for 10 seconds. Your own frickin' beach, come on. Your own frickin' beach. Beach. River. Oh yeah, there's a few lower branches. Nothing major. Just don't want them catching on your AC unit coming in. Yeah, might be a little tight for an RV. But, I mean, even this, like you can you know, like when I come out, I'm just gonna back up, back in here and drive up. Did I mention there's a beach and there's nobody here? Nobody here! I don't get it. Beach!